ждем ничего, идем, врезаемся, делаем последний шаг. Если пошли, уже без тормозов. Yes, no, geese like always been my nickname. So, um, it's like a shortage of my real name, so it makes it real easy. How I did it um, for me was like I had some good conversations with uh, Ralph, uh, Lars before I came here. So, I also had with other clubs I had talks, but with Ra Ralph and Lars was different because they were like. Uh, how do you say this? They were really serious about me. They knew how my abilities, my qualities, and how I would fit in the team. And that's, uh, I think, like the most, uh, the biggest reason why I chose Lokomotiv. No, it was not really a ride. We had some uh, interview. It was like video with Tino. And yes, what I remember of this was it was super cold. <laughs> that's, that's the the biggest thing I remember, but I've seen really nice places. Um, actually, I'm not from Utrecht, I'm from Amsterdam. So for me, uh, yes, it's maybe the weather sometimes is the same, but I think Moscow is pretty much a lot bigger than Amsterdam, um, but it's alive as well, like in Moscow. But uh, yes, for the rest, it doesn't really matter for me because I'm not really a person who goes uh, everywhere. I think maybe the, the cars, how they drive in Russia. Um, and also like the big buildings. I didn't expect really big buildings in Russia, but these are really huge, so those things. I grew up in the Belmer, they call it in Amsterdam. And that is not one of the best uh, neighborhoods <laughs> uh, with a lot of criminality and all those stuff but it was I think the most fun place to be in Amsterdam. Um, I was born in uh, Holland and my parents, uh, my dad was born in Suriname, my mother in Holland. Um, yes and I've been in Suriname I think one or two times but I was younger so for me I don't remember a lot about this but it's really relaxed country. It's nice, the weather is nice, the food is nice. So if you want to go one time, I recommend you. And why? Because there, I grown up there. I was, I grew up there and uh, all my people are there, my friends, I have a lot of family there. And uh, I still go there sometimes and it feels like really home. So that's why. I don't know, maybe architect or something, something with building stuff. Maybe IT, I really don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have to think longer, but I think, I don't think something in sports. Outside, outside sports. Something outside sports, I know for sure. <laughs> I had some matches against Ajax. Or you mean like direct opponent? I had some matches against Ajax, I felt like really, uh, like we couldn't win, so maybe against them. Player, uh, I think Ivanovic. It was a away match against Zenit in the Europa League, and they, I didn't, I didn't have the feeling like I could win one duel from him or sprint past him. Nothing, so he made it really difficult for me. <laughs> in my time at Utrecht, it was like yes, in Ayub, I had uh, Sebastian Haller, uh, Zakaria Labiat. Um, those are really the players like Sean Kleiber and uh, so on. Adam Maher. I had a lot of players I really had fun with to play with. Um, at the beginning, it was like they helped me to develop like a player and also as a per person mentally. But they were also great players because if you see now where they play, a lot of them play for big clubs now. And uh, 
Yes, that was, those are the reasons I really had the pleasure to play with them. They not only on the pitch helped me, but also off the pitch. Yeah, I cannot really tell how it goes, but for me, I feel like uh, yeah, football is everywhere the same, so you can easily adapt if you really want to, and if you really like uh, do your best to adapt. So for me, it was not really difficult, I think, but I could have, like at the moment, I think I could have done better, but we will fix that. So uh, this was Tin, Smolov. Uh, they helped me a lot with this because he also speaks English. So it's much easier because my Russian is not, uh, not really good. Um, for me, the, the game was from the beginning already heated. Like every, it lived with everybody to, uh, to like, we really wanted to win this game. So, uh, yeah, to make my first goal in this derby was really great. And also gave me a great feeling to, to go on. Um, yes, those are the big games, I think, against the top three. Because in Holland, you really have like a big top three. Uh, against Ajax, against PSV. Those are the games that, uh, that really are in my mind. I also played with Utrecht one time Europa League, like the qualification rounds. Against Zenit, and we won. So that was also one uh, game to remember. And uh, yes, the Europe European games were really the ones to remember. Oh no, not really pressure, but like it's normal for yourself to put like uh, a goal for yourself to get to a certain point. But for me, I just wanted to make the first goal quick because as, a tech, as an attacker, if you score the first one, the second one will follow and then from so on to so on. It will get easier to score goals or give assists. And from the team, uh, with Tin, Becca and uh, Maga. Maga, the crazy one. <laughs> Those are, uh, yes, the guys. No, not really. For me, number seven is just a nice number. And also, like for me, from... Um, Yes, I started with number 37 at Utrecht and worked myself all the way up to number 7. So I think that's the main reason I really like the number. Yes, and I've also played striker, number 9. But that was in a different formation, so I don't know if it's really the same. Like for me, myself, I always keep that to myself, but I want to score a lot of goals and give a lot of assists and be for value to the team. But that's like, I think it's a must. And uh, yeah, for the rest of the team, we want the place we are at now is not the place we want to be. So we aim higher and uh, in the second half of the season, we train really hard on the camp to make this uh, reality. My speed is the best quality in my game. At the moment, I want to be like uh, more of value for the team with my goals or assists. But as I said, it will be fixed. This orange rice, is this Russian cuisine? Orange rice? Yes, with beef or chicken. Ah, plov. Yes, plov. What? Is this Russian cuisine? Yeah, yeah, well, yes. it's popular in Russia. Yes, well, it's right? Asia, I don't know popular. this in, I don't know this in Holland or Amsterdam. Hey, hey. Oh. Здравствуйте, Локомотив. Здравствуйте. Спасибо за понимание. Извините. За um, yes, I don't have a lot of tattoos, I think maybe like six or seven. And uh, yes, I can tell you about this. This is my zodiac sign, I think you say. I have on my leg, I have my birthday. On the back of my uh, calf, I have Amsterdam, three X's. And this one, I think, is the coolest. Me and all my friends have, have this tattoo. Every, everyone has it somewhere else with their own number in it. And uh, that's uh, like a friend tattoo. So I think that one is the coolest. Tranquility. Just be relaxed. Enjoy everything you can or will get. That's what makes me happy, I think. And family. <laughs>